what up guys this is pastor canal again we're coming up with another video another tutorial in javascript uh, we're going to continue talking about functions and uh, but now we're going to talk about function passing parameters and we're going to be using a uh, function expression so let's start with let's start let's just do the the keyword let and then the variable name is going to be my function equals function and then open closing parentheses and then open and closing uh, curly brackets and then right here we're going to pass a parameter by the name uh, let's just do message and then inside here we're going to show message where we're going to do the message uh, parameter name and then in the semicolon and then right here we're going to invoke it uh, my function which is the the variable name and then open and close in parentheses and the semicolon in here we're going to pass the argument which which is going to be uh, hello and then let's save it refresh it and we have hello so what happened is that this uh, argument hello is going to be sent to that to the to this function and then it's going to be a store and this parameter name message right okay and we can also pass uh, more than two parameters let's just add another parameter let's just say name and then we can just do comma right here and do name name right there and then we just do comma and then we just do another string right here with another argument and let's we'll just say uh, Pedro let's save that you know actually let's change this let's just do console log console.log let's save that and let's see it okay it, it said hello Pedro Okay, cool that worked so what's going to happen if you don't pass you forget to pass an argument let's save that it comes hello it's it, it's it's good but the second argument is is undefined it's because it's expecting you're passing two parameters a message and also a name is expecting uh, another argument because you're passing name right so yeah that's why it comes undefined so you just gotta go back and do that let's do pastor save it and that will fix it hello pastor cool let's just do something really cool also we can just do the following let's use a for loop on this one uh, let's just do function let's just do how many times how many yeah how many times let's pass that uh, parameter right there how many times let's just do a for loop and we're going to do let i equals uh, zero semicolon i less than how many times uh, semicolon and then let's increment it i plus plus and then we're going to do a console log also the log and then we're going to do I concatenate plus and then uh, double quotes or single quotes whatever right let's just do right here in a single double uh, it will work fine um, let's print a bunch of kitties right here okay let's just do equals let's do um, that let's do period little i's and then equal sign and then semicolon and then let's get rid of this argument so we only have one argument right there in this case we're going to is asking how many times okay how many times do you want kitties to be printed let's just do 10 times and let's save that um, yeah let's see and we have yeah 
it got printed all those different kitties, zero, one, all the way to nine. Okay, so that worked. All right, guys, thank you very much for checking the video. Hopefully, this helped you out. Uh, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next video. Okay, have a good night. Bye bye.